Hello, I'm Dr. Wafa Basta. I'm consultant OB Gaini, Matrai Teaching Hospital. In this simulation video, we are going to learn about the sacrospinous ligament fixation procedure. At first, we will discuss the indication of the procedure. Then we will have a look into the anatomical background of the sacrospinous ligaments. And then I'm going to demonstrate the steps of the procedure using the CAPIO device. And finally, we'll have a brief look into the uh, complication and the failure rate. Sacrospinous ligament fixation procedure is mainly used to treat vaginal vault prolapse after hysterectomies. It also can be used as a prophylaxis to prevent vault prolapse from happening while performing the vaginal hysterectomy. There are many devices that can be used for uh, this purpose. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to use the CAPIO device. The purpose of the operation is to attach the prolapsed vagina into the strong sacrospinous ligament. The sacrospinous ligament is a triangular fibrous 5 cm long ligament with its apex laterally at the ischial spine and its base attached to the lateral margins of the sacrum and the coccyx medially. There are important related structures that you should be familiar with in order to avoid its injury while doing the procedure. On the lateral side of the ligament, just behind the ischial spine, lies the pudendal neurovascular bundle. Superior to the ligament, you can see the sciatic nerve and the gluteal vessels, and medially there is a rectum with its blood vessels. Therefore, it's ideal to take the stitch 2 cm medial to the ischial spine and at least half centimeter below the upper margin. Here is the cabio device. It is designed to facilitate the placement of the suture in the deeply situated ligaments. It enables the surgeon to throw, catch and retrieve the suture in one step. The device comes with its suture. At the top of the suture, there is a metallic knob. We load it, as you see here, over the device. And while firing, the small needle pierces the ligaments and the suture now is in place over the ligaments. The procedure starts by making a longitudinal 3 to 4 cm incision at the apex of the vagina to expose the pararectal space. With your index finger directly, identify the ischial spine and the adjacent sacrospinous ligament. Next, you make blunt dissection of the fascia overlying the ligament with your fingertip. The section starts laterally at the ischial spine to medially. Once you feel the corrugation at the anterior surface of the ligament, the dissection is satisfactory. Then we use the two finger technique Pass your index and the middle finger of your dominant hand through the vaginal opening to reach the sacrospinous ligament. Your index finger should be right medial to the ischial spine to protect the budendal neurovascular bundle, while the function of the middle finger is to palpate the superior margin of the sacrospinous ligament to keep the suture half centimeter below it to avoid injury of the sciatic nerve. After loading the capio with the stitch, use your other hand to slide the capio on the palmar aspect of the dominant hand to reach the ligament within the slight gap between the two fingers. When you are sure that the device is in the right place, push the tip of the device against the ligament with your index finger while firing to make the stitch. Withdraw the instrument gently now you have the two ends of the thread out of the vagina. Check that the suture was taken on the right spot of the ligament and then take another bite into the ligament for stronger fixation. The failure of the operation is mainly due to a lack of proper fibrosis between the sacrospinous ligament and the vagina. The causes of that may be improper dissection of the fascia over the ligament or uh, putting tension over the short vagina uh, or inappropriate approximation by the poly suture. The um, common complication is gluteal pain. There could be another complication like infection, bleeding, vascular injury or nerve injury and parents will mainly cystocele.